So I broke this up into a second part. We are going to talk about the remainder of the assembly, which includes trimming the shells um, and soldering the wires to the microcontroller uh, PCB. So let's look at the housing here. And you're going to see these button gates. Now, this section between each button will need to be trimmed off. So let me, and this is going to be the same for both sides. So I'm going to come in with my flush cutters right here. I'm going to snip all the way to the base. I'm going to come in the other side. I'm going to snip all the way to the base. And then you can kind of come in and kind of grab that pull, twist it. Just want to get that center part out. Let's see if I can come in with some tweezers and just kind of poke it. If you can just wiggle it out, that's even better. But basically you're just removing that material in between. Be gentle. Let me try some, some other grabbers here. I'm just going to try to clean up as much of that as possible for all the button gates, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Okay, so once you get it trimmed down, it's going to look something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but close enough. Now on the left Joy-Con shell, you're going to need to trim this little wall here on the inside towards the side wall. Not towards the open part where the rail is, but just in towards the side wall. So I can just show you where the cuts are and then where the material needs to be removed. So just like that. Now we'll go ahead and just remove it. I'll be right back when I can get that out. Sometimes it just takes a little caressing with the flush cutters. All right, so that's kind of ugly, but that'll do just fine. Um, on the left Joy-Con, what you may want to do as well is just come in here and snip. There's a little ridge coming up. Just go ahead and snip that so it's a little clean. Um, we just want to give the ribbon cable as much space as possible. Um, this is going to be where the ribbon cable comes in and lights up the buttons. Okay, so the front shell is all ready and all trimmed. So let's uh, get the buttons in, and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. So let's talk about the next series of trims that you're going to need to do. Um, I have the rubber pad. You're going to want to make sure that this is oriented um, in the way that it's going to go on the buttons, which is going to be with uh, these lines parallel up and down. And you're just going to want to trim off one of the sides right here. So. Let me show you what that looks like, if I can. A trim right here and right here. And then we're going to cut across to remove this material. So here's what that looks like when it's trimmed. It doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to let that ribbon cable through. So once you have uh, you get your buttons in, go ahead and place your LED kit. Um, I may decide to glue these buttons in, I mean glue the LEDs into the buttons. This may make placement a little bit easier. Um, you can kind of hold this in place by the ribbon cable and you're just going to come in and put that rubber pad down on top. It's easier, easier uh, to do it when you're not 
looking at a screen like I am. And it's just going to fit in right over the top. And then you just want to make sure that's all flush so you're going to have your little ribbon cable coming out this way. Now what we want to do is we want to take our board and we're just going to slide this in underneath and you're going to hold those buttons in place. Um, you're also going to want to put this other button in there. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, we got that other rubber pad in place. So now let's go ahead and stick the board on. You're going to want to hold it in place and now you can kind of test to see if the buttons are clicking. Everything feels good here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the rear screws and we'll, we'll continue with the trimming process. Now the one of the trims we're going to be doing is cutting one of the posts that goes to the back panel. So if you do want to use a shorter screw, uh, you do want to use a shorter screw, you'll see this diagonal pattern. Usually it's just these two are short screws, but you're going to want to put a short screw in this bottom right hand one as well. Now let's take a look at the uh, mid frame compared to where we're going to be putting this. So this is going to come down right about here. And if we flip this over, we're definitely going to want to remove some of this geometry, which isn't necessarily needed anyways. Definitely this post. Um, we also have a ribbon cable coming in. And this kind of, this little part right here kind of sits on the board. So you could even you could even trim off most of that if you wanted to. Um, you can kind of get a feel if you if you try to put it down, just where where those things are going to line up. So for this for this section right here, I'm actually going to trim off about half of it this way. So let me show you what that looks like. It's really hard to pick up this black, but let me just confirm one more time check twice, cut once. That's the kind of thing. So I'm going to cut starting right here and I'm going to come in from the side just like that. And we're going to do the same thing. It's this screw post that's closer. We're just going to come in. Let's go ahead and cut this little plus off. Oh, that'll go flying, that's fine. Let's go ahead and cut this off as well. And from here, I think we're gonna be good. Let me test and I'll let you know. So let me just come in here. I'm gonna clean up some of this because you definitely want it to be um, as flush as possible and you kind of want the board to sit in there as flush as possible as well because it is it is a little tight of a fit. Um, and if you do find that you're having a lot of trouble you could come in from the top and kind of trim out a square but I'm not going to do that. Um, this should be a good enough fit for for what we're working on. So let's talk about wire routing and what we're going to do to get these wires in there. And this is the part where we want to be really careful because um, this, this is how we're going to kind of connect everything up. So I'm going to kind of press everything down here and check and make sure there's no obstructions. And there's that one capacitor. I don't think that's going to be an issue. So let's figure out how we want to wire this up. I think what I want to do is I want to start from the latch and we'll move over. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll use a small piece of tape to hold it. I'm just going to do a, dub, a piece of double-sided sticky tape and I'll put that underneath so we can start working on this. So that's kind of being held in place. So let's come in with the wires. I'm going to bring in this wire. I'm going to loop it around. 
and we're just going to kind of see how much of it we need. Oh, that's not my latch wire, right? It's going to be this purple one. So, because I changed colors. And we're not going to need much on this one, looks like. Just a little bit. So let's go ahead and trim that roughly where I'm going to want it. turn this. I'm going to come in with the iron from the right side and we're going to melt off some of that insulation and then put it down in place. Okay, that one looks good. And then let's go down the line. We're going to do voltage next, which is going to be our red. I'm just going to kind of route this around. go. And I'm just going to come in with the tip of my iron. Put that in place. And we'll be able to tidy this up a little bit when it's closer to being done. Let's get our up button, which in this case is going to be that um, minus the one going to the diode in this case. You don't want to leave too much slack, but you do want to leave enough to where you can correct a mistake if you mess up the wire and you need to trim a little bit back. from this side so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I need to kind of angle this down. Perfect. this down. Okay.
And then we just need that ground wire and we can test these LEDs to make sure they're working. That's just going to come in right over the top. Let's trim it. And again, you just want to take your time. Look at how much time I've spent soldering. Okay. You just barely need any wire exposed. Okay, so at this point you can take your charged battery and once you plug it in you should start to see uh, lights on the front right away. And look at that, it's working. If you plug in that ribbon cable for the plus, I mean the minus button, you'll even be able to test if that's working properly. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I've got that in place. Let's uh, let's come in and open this latch. go. So now if I hold this minus button and I press this up button twice and hold, the button should turn off the LEDs. There we go. And back on. And I should be able to change color modes. Oops. Let's see what happened here. Let's try that one more time. Oh, great. Okay. So we got our solid color mode. Looks like I probably got a uh, bad LED there, so that's something to test. One of the LEDs failed on that board. That's fine, but everything else seems to be working. So I'm going to go replace that LED and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and replaced that LED. It's just something I didn't notice because uh, I guess only one of the sub-LEDs was defective, so when I was testing it, it lit up, but when I went into the rainbow mode, it did not, so I I will be using the rainbow mode as the testing mode in the future, in the future, I mean. So let's just make sure it's still turning off. Oh, I got that ribbon cable disconnected. So let's go ahead and put that back. And we'll make sure that's working. There you go. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. I can clean that. There we go. It's really bright, but it's working. So I'm going to disconnect the battery for now. And we'll fully reassemble and we'll test this out. Everything should be ready to go. Um, the reassembly should just be as normal. If anything else gets squished, I will stop the video and or stop. I'll restart the video and I'll let you know what I'm doing.